Hi, I'm Chris. I'm a doctor. I'd like to summarize a book, A Million Miles in a Thousand Years, What I Learned While Editing My Life by Donald Miller. This is a story about someone who's trying to write a book and realizes that, in fact, the story of our lives is that's the thing that's important. What touched me the most was initially, he mentions, would you cry at the end of a film if it was about somebody wanting to buy a Volvo car and they achieved their dream? Probably not. And the difficulty is, if we think about our own legacies, we spend lots of time on very similar stories that don't really inspire others and are not meaningful. See, a story really involves a character who wants something and overcomes conflict to achieve it. One of the reasons we fail to acknowledge the brilliance of, uh, brilliance of life is because we don't want the responsibility inherent in that acknowledgement. And by that, we don't want to be characters in a story because it takes courage. And if we perceive life isn't remarkable, then we don't have to do any of that. We could simply be passive, unwilling victims rather than grateful participants. Also, just it's worth pointing out, remember, people only know what you say and what you do, not what you think or feel. So remember to communicate well with those around you. Over time, we change. However, often people only change when they're forced to change. And aging does provide us with a deeper perspective to view our experiences with. This book then starts to touch on God and mentions about the voice of greater good and what, what that voice is telling us to do in our lives. And he mentions a bit from the Bible when God is speaking with Job and he says, I know what I'm doing, but this whole thing isn't about you. And Job then responds to say, even though before his health and wealth are restored, all of this is too wonderful for me. And I think that finding that contentment and even joy outside of the context of yourself, your health and stability is important. When we go back to stories, characters actually need to be developed. If the reasons for our lives are muddled and we just keep walking into scenes really not knowing why we're there, surrounded by people who also don't know why they're there, it's not surprising that it isn't particularly rewarding. See, the point of a story isn't always just the ending. It's about the characters getting moulded from the hard work in the middle. And the author really states it took him several years to recognize and think of love. He used to think of love as something that somebody else would complete him and make his troubles go away and speculates that's why there's lots of conflicts between people because they are all thinking their partners will in some way validate them and infirm them. And then when that isn't the case, they in fact argue. The book ends when the character meets God and he suggests, this is after he's died, and he suggests really they'd sit down and he'd hear the story of this gentleman's life and what he has done in that and learnt. At the end of this, God will simply say to him, well done, embrace him, and his soul will then be content. Hope you found that useful. Feel free to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.